This Valentine, I have a beautiful spinach and cheese pie with olives and a gorgeous olive oil crust that will make any meal a memorable experience. Let's begin by making the pie crust. I'm going to grease the base and sides of this pie dish with some oil. And now is the time to prepare the pie crust. I need about 100 grams, 3 fourths of a cup of whole wheat flour. 100 grams, 3 fourths of a cup of maida or plain flour. Some dried herbs. I'm using oregano and basil, half a teaspoon each. A teaspoon of salt. I need to mix it all up together. This is a crust made with olive oil and there's no butter in it. So the next step is to add about quarter cup 60 ml olive oil. I'm using olive oil but you could use uh, any neutral flavored vegetable oil as well. You need to mix this up until the mixture resembles breadcrumbs. And then you need to pour in about 100 ml scant half a cup of ice cold water. Mix this all up together and knead briefly until the dough comes together into a ball. This is done. I'm going to transfer this to a flat surface. I'm going to be using some flour so that the dough does not stick to the surface. You need to roll this into a circle large enough to fit into your pie dish. Some extra flour. You need to keep lifting the dough to get a nice circle. This is done and now you need to lift this up and transfer it carefully into the pie dish. And now you can trim the edges or give some pretty fluted patterns like this. This needs to chill in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Now let's prepare the filling. 500 grams of crumbled paneer. Since this is a large quantity of paneer, I'm going to reserve a little to be added later. 200 ml, 3 fourths of a cup of cream. 2 tablespoons of corn flour or cornstarch. Some dried herbs, half a teaspoon of oregano and half a teaspoon of basil. A teaspoon of salt some black pepper. I'm going to close the lid and process this until it is smooth. Time to add in the remaining paneer. This is done. I'm going to transfer this mixture into a bowl. I have some spinach that has been steamed, thoroughly drained and chopped. I'm going to mix it into this beautiful cheese mixture. pie crust has been chilling in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Now all I'm going to do is prick it with a fork, the base and the sides. And this will prevent the dough from puffing in the oven. My oven has been heating at about 200 degrees centigrade and I'm going to blind bake this crust for about 10 to 12 minutes. Pie crust has been blind baked in the oven and it has completely cooled down. Now let's proceed with putting in the filling. I'm going to sprinkle in some rolled oats all over the base of the pie crust. 
and then I'm going to spoon the filling all over the crust. Level the surface with the spatula. And then I'm going to decoratively arrange some Kalamata olives. I'm using Greek Kalamata olives, but you could use any olives that you have on hand. My oven has been heating at about 200 degrees centigrade, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to put this into my oven and bake it for about 30 to 35 minutes or until the pie set and turns a light golden brown in the center. This savory pie has the goodness of an olive oil crust and is filled with a luscious, flavorful filling. Do make this for your loved one and give me your feedback below. And here's wishing all of you a happy Valentine's Day.